Got a little titty action. I mean, at least I'm wearing a robe. I look like a boxer. Yeah. <laughs> Usually hey, what's naked, up, everybody? So. Let's do... Oh, I guess we're live. What's up, everybody? How are you? Welcome to the Tuesdays with Rebel Show. I am your host, Ricky Rebel, Billboard Top 40 recording artist, as seen on tour with Britney Spears. Never, You can't take that credit away from me. Signed by <laughs> Michael Jackson to, and also had two records on Michael's label, one of Madonna's record label, and tour with Britney Spears. And I've had some Top 40 hits as Ricky Rebel. So kiss it, haters, <laughs> if any haters are watching right now. You know, that's the thing about, you know, doing something in your career, like there are certain things in life that nobody can take away from you. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how long it was ago. It doesn't fuck. It doesn't matter. You do something, you get credit for it. They obviously, Michael Jackson saw talent in me and blah, 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 blah. So what I want to do is I want to first give a shout out to my sponsor, C60 Evo. Thank you so much for sponsoring this live broadcast. This is an incredible uh, antioxidant that you could take for a better night's rest. Let me give you a good close up here. Every show, I like to take a shot. This is C60 Evo. I take it every day and it gives me energy, mental clarity, better night's rest. Mm. Cheers, brother. Cheers, baby. And it tastes really good too. It's like olive oil mixed with carbon, and carbon has some really great properties. Uh, they did a test on rats, lab rats who were on carbon for a while, and they lived 90% longer lives. And also their tumors, they didn't have tumors when they died. Usually rats get a bunch of tumors. Their tumors were gone. And true story, my mom actually started taking this, and she had like something going on with her breasts. Like a little, there was like a situation happening uh, with the doctor, and she started taking C60, and the doctor could not believe it. Like months later, it was abs it was gone. Whatever it was that was growing, it like it wiped it out. She was taking she takes this stuff religiously. So go to my website, rickyrebelrocks.com to get yours today. And don't forget to use uh, discount code EVRRR for 10% off. Thank you, everybody who is here, everybody who are buying the products and funding this broadcast. We really appreciate it. So without further ado, the TNA show is here looking sexy as ever. Oh my God. That's right. Yeah, we got the uh, the tits and ass out the TNA. We, we got, got some titties. That's we right. got some like uh, androgyny. Bit. Ooh, oh, that's like a real tit. I, I, I dressed up for you guys. Hot. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. And we have like androgyny from you, Tara. <laughs> it's like giving me any Lennox uh, sweet dreams. You know that song, right? <laughs> Sweet dreams are made of things. You guys got to do a collab since you both can actually <laughs> sing. Yeah. Yeah, we should. Absolutely. We were supposed to do one, right? We we're supposed to do a track. We are. We, we are. are. We're, we're, once, we're still working on that. Once this guy writes it. Yeah, we're not. I'm, oh, I'm not we're going to have to writer. fly out. Okay. Well, we, here's the deal. You guys got to fly out to LA so that we can, we, I can record you on my $7,000 microphone. I heard about that. On, I saw on Instagram you have a $7,000 microphone. That's right. We have a full studio set up yeah. in Hollywood on Sunset. And the uh, you know where the Sunset Strip is, right? You got yeah. – that's where the uh, Guns N' Roses became famous. That's where all of the, the heavy metal rock bands – like de or rock bands, period, have become famous. So we have a really beautiful studio there. Uh, me and my co-producer and engineer, Luigi OG, shout out to him. We're making hit songs over there like, like this. Like one, two, three, four. Boom, boom, boom. It's like a factory – and well, then I have been planning a, a trip to go out there to California, too. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, maybe end of April to come out there to uh, to California. All right. Well, then what we'll do is we'll set it up. We'll give you guys some studio time and I'll produce you and uh, make sure those vocals are tight. And also I'll, I'll hop on the track, too. We'll do oh, something for our country. Right. That's we'll right. Save, save our country, our beautiful country, America. That's right. I, I pledge allegiance to one country. All this Ukraine stuff and all the like change your flag, change your shit to Ukraine and all that stuff. I'm like, no, no. I pledge allegiance to America, period. It's funny. Even on my um, one of my apps for keeping my desktop clean and, and clear, uh, it's it has a Ukrainian flag that popped up on it. So you're seeing the Ukraine flag pop up everywhere. The last thing I expected was a uh, clean my desktop app to have it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's, I, the, 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 how do I want to put this? The pro Ukraine messaging is in full force and that's fine. I mean, that, that's, yeah. that's allowed. They're allowed to have that. But yeah, as Bryson Grace said, it's just interesting that everybody that we don't trust in DC is also pro, pro Ukraine. And that's what yeah. makes me a bit uncomfortable that people like Nancy Pelosi are Hillary pro Ukraine. Clinton. Hillary yeah, Clinton. Exactly. 
Exactly. Soros. Exactly. Why they are they really, all on that side? And then I'm on that side. Yeah. I'm like, wait a second. This is a little, a little it's strange. Biden's dealings with Ukraine. Exactly. It's all, just, dealings. it's all just strange. That's all. Yeah. We have to ask questions. It's yeah. all strange. And we, we, it's hard for us to trust anything that's going on. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the end of the day, we, we don't, of course, nobody likes war. Nobody likes mm-hmm. innocent people dying. Nope. Nobody likes that shit. I mean, if you do, you're a psychopath. You, you know, it's it. crazy though. Actually, there is a uh, pro Russia, pro war uh, population that's actually growing in size right now. Really oh, interesting. And a lot of these people are using the letter Z uh, on their clothing to kind of symbolize pro Russia, pro pro war right now. Yeah. Um, so just be aware that that there is a movement that's coming out there that's actually cheering this war on. Uh-huh. And there are people that believe that Putin is the good guy here. So right. to, to me, it's just shocking when I see all the deaths that's happening in Ukraine, all the civilians that are being you know, killed and murdered, uh, the pets that are being displaced, all those things. It, war, war is ugly. War is evil. And it, it just yeah. breaks my heart every day. So I don't see how somebody could take the side of the aggressor in a war situation. But, you know, people have their beliefs and it's just uh, we got to have better beliefs and try to, you know, make sense with those people. Well, this is why I think they're 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 for it. Uh, I'm trying to play devil's advocate here. That, that's why I named my the the show today Nazis in Ukraine because apparently their theory is is that Putin is is trying to uh, take away uh, certain people who are currently in power over there who are who are Nazis and who are uh, were installed there, basically. Just like yeah. we have a president who is installed, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Right. Like we we have an installed president. I, I don't think he's real, but that's another story. <laughs> I, mean, I was but, reading the, uh, the, the biography a little bit of, of the Ukrainian president. He had quite an interesting rise to power. He was actually playing a uh, president on a hit TV show. And just as the as that show came to an end is when he had won his election and they had created the, the name of the party from the show was then what was created in real life. See. Oh wow! It's 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 pretty weird, but yeah. And I heard that he was installed, like mm-hmm. he was. You know what I mean? There was something nefarious going on. And then I also hear that they were. This is just all you know, alleged that there were uh, bioweapon facilities that uh, Putin was targeting and destroyed because they wanted to release another bioweapon um, on the world, um, funded by America, of course. You know, our bad actors in America. Um, yep, the deep state. So that's basically their theory as to why I think that they are pro what that's the only thing I could think about as to why they are pro what's happening, you know, pro uh, Russia. Yeah, you're right. I mean, we, we read an article on CNN that says, and again, I, I don't know the reality of the situation. So I want to preface this. I don't know what the hell is going on. I have no ties to Ukraine. I have no ties to Russia. Never been to either country. So right. whatever I'm saying is only just things that I read on CNN. All right. We're going to reference CNN today. So that's a Yay. little mainstream source. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, from that, from the uh, Putin's perspective, as you said, he believes that he's quote unquote denazifying Ukraine. Uh, I, I, I don't know. What does that even mean though? No. Because the, so, the word Nazi has been thrown around so loosely these he, days. He's no. saying that there's legit neo-Nazis that have, have grown in population in Ukraine and that he wants to neutralize them and get rid of them. Okay. Well, another part of the article go, that I read was it's typical propaganda to call the side you don't like yeah. Nazis. Right. That's what I was thinking. And so with that said, if it is propaganda that Putin is using, that is so dangerous and disingenuous to the word Nazi, because as Tara always says to me when we're having talks about this, you've taken the power away from the word Nazi. And it just mm. seems like in America, the same thing here is happening where the left calls the right Nazis all the time. And it's just what's strange to me is the left, the Democrats, the liberals, they're the ones that want to suppress free speech. They're right. the ones that want to mandate medical treatments. They're the ones that take the sides of the government. They're the ones that want to put us in gulags if we're unvaccinated. Mm. And then they call us Nazis. And all we're doing is saying like waving American flag saying, can we have our free speech back? Yeah. Can we, can we just not put this injection in our body? Can we just go to the gym and stay fit? <laughs> and they're like, you're Nazis. Yeah. So I don't even know what that means anymore. I really don't know what it means. Yeah. yeah they've used that term too loosely. Look at what it. Maya said on, on YouTube. Thank you for all these great comments on uh, Facebook. Keep those comments coming and make sure you share this live broadcast. If you're watching this, Maya says the neo-Nazi Ukraine army are killing their own people. 
Putin is oh. taking out bio labs and saving children in tunnels. Putin is the good guy and hate war. That's See? what Maya says. Yeah, I mean, this is something that I've been I've been hearing more and more of. And uh, I mean, look, I don't know what's some, true. People, some people are saying that Ukraine is, is is hurting their own people, that it's committing slaughter on their own people. Mm. And it's a lot of false flags to make, you know, Russia look bad. I have no, I don't know. I have no idea. And that's why I don't publicly make a lot of opinions on this. Like, I mean, I do have a Ukraine flag in my profile on Facebook. I'm not going to lie about that, guys. Go for I, it. I did put it there. Yeah, you should. I but mean, if you beyond, beyond I that, I haven't really given too many opinions on this because I just don't know. Yeah. Look what Marilyn Wilson says uh, the, uh, from Facebook. Thank you guys for giving uh, Facebook stars. We really appreciate the stars as well to help Hell fund yeah. the project. Thank you so much. Maryland says the Ukrainian parliamentarian woman on Fox News said she and the others are fighting to advance the new world order. She said yes, it, the new world did. order. She did. So there was a Ukrainian spokesperson that said that said that they're fighting for the new world. It's a quote. She they're actually fighting wanted, for or oh, they're fighting for. Yes. Yes. There was a Ukrainian woman <clears throat> that said they're fighting to advance the new world order. I remember hearing that. I just I don't that like too. I just I don't that. like if it is true, if this is a real conspiracy, if we want to call it that. Yeah. Why would you use those words? I just mean, are they just trying to slap up, us uh, in the face with it? I mean, we did see how the Ukrainian president said that he was inspired also to run by Trudeau, and I definitely don't trust Trudeau. <laughs> no. And didn't they all graduate? Didn't Trudeau graduate from, you know what? Uh, it was like a, God, what did he graduate from? That The forum? The something forum? Where all the globalists go to. Yeah. Uh, the name's eluding me. Built also, a World Economic Forum. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Like yeah. he graduated Trudeau and all these uh, and uh, other people. W they have an agenda, man. I know. Mean, well, they've told us their agenda that by 2030, we're going to own nothing, and, and we're going to be happy. And we're going to be happy. <laughs> we're going to be happy. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be very oh, look happy. At, look at what uh, Deborah Godinez right wrote here. Uh, Ukraine is so corrupt with alleged bio labs. Who knows the truth? The deep state runs very deep. Yep, it's true. I'm gonna I'm gonna fact check Deborah and say that she is actually correct. So Deborah, <laughs> you are being fact checked, and it's gonna say we're gonna say true. Uh, we did some research on this actually, and Ukraine is considered one of the most corrupt countries in the world. Really, uh, even even back 10, 20 years ago, they were considered like the number three most uh, corrupt country behind Brazil and Venezuela, I believe. Hmm. Um, and now they still remain in the top ten. Uh, in this world. So it's a corrupt country. No one knows what's just going on there. And we all do know that Joe Biden has some ties to Ukraine. I mean, Burisma, the oil company, was paying his son, I think, $83,000 a mm -hmm. month as a consultant. Meanwhile, he had no energy experience. So yeah. I mean, that's one of the stories that was su suppressed with uh, Biden's laptop. Yeah. With the Hunter's laptop. Yeah. 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 Guess we got 10%. Joe Biden, the big guy. That's what the big guy is saying. Allegedly. Let's put the word Remember that? out there. Remember that statement? That was a crazy statement. Yeah. That was crazy. And the left just ignores it. Yeah. 10% for the big guy. 10% for the big guy. You know, we do need the big guy back in this country. We do need uh, the real one. We need yeah. the real big guy. The actual big guy. Because Trump's pretty big, actually. He's, I think, six foot three. He's I a big taller, man. Taller yes. than that. Yeah. He's like a brick wall. Darren's right? even taller like, than him. Yeah. Have you met him before, Ricky? I have not. I have not met him, but I've seen him uh, perform. <laughs> uh, at CPAC like several times. You guys just went to CPAC. How was that experience? Oh, you go first, Tara. <laughs> I was going to say after you, Adam. <laughs> How was it? Well, well, the reason why I wanted Tara to go first is because she, her her boyfriend, as you guys know, is uh, American Grayson. And uh, the, the press that covers events like CPAC, the left-wing liberal press, Boy, do they hate that guy. They, they, they have a target out for Grayson Arnold. Well, here's the thing. So when I was watching the speeches, I was also watching the leftist media um, come out with their tweets. The Independent was writing um, articles live time as I was watching the speeches. And then I they were really taking everything out of context that the speakers were saying. Okay. And then tweeting that out there and changing the complete meaning of what was being said there. Wow. And then so I followed which... Twitter accounts were the ones there. And so listed out which leftist media were there. And then so I told Grayson uh, which guys to look out for. 
And mm-hmm. uh, so one guy, uh, what's his name? Zachary Roberts. Zach Roberts. Zach Roberts. <laughs> so that turned into, you know, a little bit of a, a Twitter war with him then claiming that Grayson invited him to AFPAC, but then him writing an article saying that that um, Grayson had invited him to AFPAC and gave him an address of a gas station that was like, <laughs> yeah, Grayson, Grayson, tri- Grayson tricked the guy. He yeah. sent him a fake address, which yeah. is pretty funny. Because I wanted to hold these leftist journalists accountable for what they were saying. So uh, we were able to oh. we were able to confront one of them. Um, yeah. And yeah, of course, they were spewing their lies. Uh, that was that was a bit of it. I mean, the even the local media, the way they were covering um, uh, the gathering together, like AFPAC especially, I felt like was slandered. Uh, yep. I was I was present at that was America first. Yeah, the America first movement uh, with Nick Fuentes. So the way that was even like covered oh, yeah. was they were the, whenever the the leftist media are are leading in their description of it, they say that the the crowds are chanting Putin. That was not true. That's the that's the first thing that they say. So so it's interesting being there and then seeing how it's then covered. It's fun. Yeah. Oh yeah, I read some horrible shit about mm-hmm. about that conference and. The way they smeared it and uh, mm-hmm. what they're saying. And and they also smeared a couple of politicians that were in the room, right? Uh, yes. The, the girl. Yes. What was her name? What's her um, name? Marjorie Taylor um, Greene was present. She she spoke. Yeah. She was the um, opening speaker. And then they also tried to censure uh, uh, Paul Gosar afterwards and Wendy Rogers. Uh, so it's – you see Republicans really canceling themselves. So, uh, you yeah, know, as I saw a new- that. As a a walk away from the Democrat Party and a newcomer to the Republicans, like mm. I, I gotta say, like the Democrats are a lot more organized, and we and and unless the Republicans get on the same page and stop trying to cancel each other and realize, like yeah. they need to be focusing their efforts towards fighting the left. This is why the left is able to organize and take them down. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm not a big fan of the Republican Party. Period. Yeah. That's why I didn't want to go to CPAC. They don't have. They don't. They never didn't have Trump's back. The whole mm-hmm. time they were fighting him just as hard as the Democrats were. Well, a lot of the, a lot of them are rhinos. We all know that they're just establishment. Uh, two wings on the same bird is what they say, right? You got a question yeah. also who are the sponsors for the for the event? Because I know like a couple of years ago, Google was one of the sponsors. And we even had a, a run in uh, incident with the with the getter with getters, which was one of the uh, main sponsors also for the event. I saw that. That was a big <laughs> viral. That was probably the biggest viral moment that happened at CPAC was yeah. American Grayson, our friend, who's also your man. <laughs> your man got in a little bit of a hustle, a moment. Yeah. He had a moment with this guy. Can I look it up online? What do I search to find Absolutely. this? Um, I have it posted on my Twitter. And uh, basically, what is your Twitter? My Twitter is Poam Brotherhood. Oh, and, and then brother. so if you go down a couple of tweets, you'll see the 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 video that was um which was actually the second oh, altercation God, that, <laughs> so, that this guy had, John Wilson had with Grayson. And basically what happened was uh Grayson was calling out at the getter booth the um uh the representatives that were there, one of one of which is uh Kingsley um God, what's her name? I got it. I'll, I'll, I'll DM you. I'll DM you, Ricky. Yeah, DM me. And um and basically uh Grayson was holding Actually, them accountable and calling I'm them out. Now on Twitter. Um, calling them out about the CCP funding, uh, the foreign investments that come into Twitter, and also the the uh, because they they platform themselves as a free speech platform, but he was calling them out on how they have been censoring people and what um, censoring like words like Groyper and uh, um, unpla- um, deplatforming people. So he was holding them accountable and calling them out for it. And basically, uh, the get a girl sent the a get a goon after him Mm -hmm. (laughs) so the first altercation happened actually at cpac Mm -hmm. and then uh security escorted that guy out and then and then across the street when we were over at beth's burger bar he like followed him or something and there was a second altercation this one right here right yeah there it is yeah there it is do you want to watch it yeah Uh, how could you be sober and doing this nobody knows you uh, no, 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 no. You guys are such pussies. You start filming, trying to dox me. I'm not doxing anybody. I just for self defense. Self defense. Yeah. You, you, you might say he had, you just touched him first. Hey, 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 don't touch me, dude. Can't do that. 
Your man is so hot. Watch this. Ah. <laughs> he doesn't move. Oh. <gasps> oh my God. Listen to your friend before you end up in jail. Oh my God. You might want to get him. I don't know, dude. We, I don't know who he is. Like, we have like somebody, like bouncer or something. I don't know, dude. Like, he's like, wow. You haven't touched him. Oh my God! Before this video was even taken, which um, one of our uh, guys, Sam, had taken this video, um, the guy came up and like pushed Grayson when he was sitting down, and that's how it started off. And that yeah. was the second time, and the second time, and then we found who out. Who is that? Okay, who is that guy? He's with Getter. So this guy is John Wilson, and he's the boyfriend of Kingsley Cortez, who is the deputy uh, to the CEO of Getter. And so she wasn't so happy with what uh, Grayson had said to to them at the booth earlier that day at CPAC. And all Grayson had told him was calling him out for the foreign investment. So I'm like, well, how does and that escalate to the to, censorship and the censorship? Two things that Grayson held them accountable for was foreign investment coming in together and the censorship when they they uh, platform themselves as a free speech platform. So that right. ends up being to two assaults. And this guy was actually posting, posting on Twitter, searching for Grayson. So that's yeah. like incredibly unnerving that he like uh, like. Basically, a getter goon was sent after Grayson to permanently silence. Well, <laughs> the one thing that's funny about that video is I think that that guy, his stomach is far further out than his chest is. And I always tell, I always tell men, if a man wants to just have the appearance of being in shape, work on your on your bench press so that your chest sticks out, and that way, even if you have a gut, you don't see it as much in a t-shirt. So that's uh, pro tip number one. Pro tip number two, you got to sign up for Ricky Rebels Fitness Courses. He's got a lot Hell of courses yeah. available to you guys. <laughs> He's got stretching routines, muscle building routines, oh, all these different things. Yeah. And if you go to his Instagram, you'll see that Ricky Rebel is pretty freaking shredded. Holy Thank crap. You. you got those washboard abs, bro. Thanks, and uh, you can sign Thanks up for his fitness program if you're John Wilson so you can get your I know abs. Rate. If there's one thing I know, I know how to do abs. Yeah, uh, I'm a certified Pilates instructor. Pilates, and, I told you. Pilates yeah, is, where, Pilates it's I love is Pilates. where it's at when it comes to anything abdominal, um, anything core related. That's, I mean, Pilates was a genius. Joseph yeah. Pilates, when it came to just core strengthening. And <clears> so if there's anything I know how to do, it's that. And and my my fitness program is called Ricky Rebel Fitness. It's available at rickyrebelrocks.com. I want to play a little uh, video there's a plug for you, Ricky. You like that, right? That was seamless, huh? Uh, you're so awesome. I really appreciate that. Here's a 10-minute app workout. I'll give you like a little preview. I, people keep asking for previews, and I'm like, okay, I'll give you a freaking preview. Hold on. <laughs> Let me uh, share this share screen here. Remember, guys, when you buy Ricky's classes, you help fund his program, which That's helps right. reach more people, and it just keeps him fighting for freedom and getting the message out there. Yeah, you get it. Yep. You get it. It's a great course. This is my 10 minute ab routine. That's my music playing. All right, let's do abs. We're going to start with the warm up. The I love it. <laughs> so, this is a warm up here. You got to warm up your spine and then we're gonna exhale, round it before up. you do anything. You know? Stop in that tummy on that exhale. Here we go. Forward in like someone's a sexy boy. <laughs> Thank you. Arch. Like a cat. I try to act like Help. a cat. You know what I mean? And they say if you bang more plates, you bang more dates. Ooh. Yeah. So here's someone called the hundred. Oh, I hate those. Yeah. Those are brutal. You know, I think I never thought that those arm movements did anything, but it really does. It, it just it shifts the body weight, so it it forces your abs to contract more. Hell yeah! And yeah. then for people who are like, oh god, this looks too hard. There's like a modify, um, you know, picture I put on top. I put yeah. a lot of work into this. You guys need to really buy this course. Watch that. So at the top, there's like a little baby modify at the top. See? Yeah. There's your modify. Or you can even keep the head down too. Like that. Yep. See, I show you right there. You keep the head down. Yep. So I explain that in the videos so that people, uh, like anybody can do it. You know what I mean? I mean, you got the results though. I was looking at your Instagram and you have one of your recent posts. You're, you're shirtless in the, uh, the mirror. Yeah. And, uh, 
Right here, Tara. It's on my screen. Ooh la la. Yeah, he's, Ooh, la, got, la. he's got the. He's got a, a great midsection. Thank you. <sighs> Just joined Equinox. Congratulations! I used to be a member of Equinox. Really? Only, the only reason why I joined was because they have together. these. Uh, they have these eucalyptus towels in the mm-hmm. fridge. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you oh, know yeah. what I'm talking about, Tara? Yeah. Oh, those are those are fancy hotels. Yeah, that's glorious. That was a glorious. <laughs> After the workout, you put that on your face. Mm, you feel like a new yeah. man or woman or they, whatever you you know your preferred they? pronouns are. <laughs> yeah, no, I got my first eucalyptus towel. I took a class uh, yesterday at Equinox, and oh, yeah. it was like um, it was like a Pilates yoga fusion class. Mm. Pretty cool, you know. You put a yoga and Pilates together. And then afterward, we lay down and we're like, you know, meditating. And he put that eucalyptus towel over my eyes. And it was like, it was really cool. Really Do nice. you uh, have to pay for the classes, Equinox? No, it's included, right? In your, it's in included. Your month, month. Very mm-hmm. nice. I'm yeah. a member of uh, PF, Planet Fitness, 20 bucks a month. I get to use any gym in the country. So, hey, you know, hey, you know what? I don't get the eucalyptus right. towels, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with, with, with uh, you know, what Planet Fitness offers. I like Planet Fitness. It's pretty clean. You know, is, I just couldn't take is, 24. Right? I just couldn't take 24. It excuse me it was just too whoa they need to I clean love, that shit up love pilates i'm always like i have class in the morning i can't stay oh my god late. you love pilates tara yeah club pilates like ask adam oh, club always, is great when he's trying to get me to go out at night i'm like no 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 i have a 7 a.m class i can't go i can't go i have it because they only have a, a certain number of level two right now so yeah. that's only offered at super early in the morning so i'm totally obsessed with club pilates i think conservatives we love fitness because um we we care about I don't know. We just care about our health and uh, our our bodies, and it has to also do with appreciating what we have. A lot of a lot of conservatives believe in God, so they also believe that your body is like your temple, and you got to really take you got to appreciate it, take care of it, and also that that we also like structure. We like we like um, I don't know routine, being productive with our lives, being productive, well, not also being a take- slob. I think conservative values align more with traditional gender roles. Yeah. And so, you mm-hmm. know, for men, they want to look masculine and women want to look feminine. And part of a man looking masculine is going to the gym and lifting heavy objects. Yes. And now the left Being is painting man. it as toxic masculinity. So, yeah. oh my I, God, I am toxic yeah. AF so when I go right. to the gym every day and I freaking love being toxic. Give me a toxic protein shake. I'm in. Hell yeah. You know, I had the, I had a really interesting conversation with my best friend, one of my best friends, uh, Wayne. He lives in Austin, Texas. He moved from L.A. and he went to the most liberal part of Texas. And he's he's a liberal himself, you know, and he is a big guy. You want to talk about someone who works out this bitch. He, oh, he looks like, oh, my God, he's like like a tank. And um, his ass is couldn't fit in this screen. It's so big. Um but he's just like a great guy. I love him so much. He co-produced my new album. We did the whole thing together over the quarantine. He's my best friend. And he said that what's going on, but I'm totally red pilling him. I'm red pilling him so hard. <laughs> I, so I, I said him a JP Sears um, one about the vac, the, you know what, the poke and oh, about the pokey. the pokey pokey, the adverse effects and all this stuff <laughs> alleged. Um, and he's just like, yeah, that was a great video. Um, but anyway, he said that what the gay community is doing over there to, to gay men now is that now it's just bad to be a gay man and to act like a man. That's bad. Now all of a sudden gay men, that's considered toxic. If you're, if you're proud to be a man in, in, in Texas, in Austin, you are considered a toxic male. They don't care wow. if you're gay or straight or anything like that. They just don't like the fact that you want to be manly and that you like to do manly things and act like a man. They don't like that. And see, I knew that that's where the gay community was going. And I was like, oh, fuck that shit. Fuck you, bitches. No, no, fuck you. I'm all man, all male every day, every day. I could wear a dress. I can wear makeup. I could do any fucking shit I want. I could be creative like that on film or whatever you want to do in my art. That's art. But I'm a man when I do all that shit. Okay. You're not taking me on that ride. You're going the wrong direction, motherfuckers. And I'm not going to be a part of it. Like, I'm sorry. And I yeah. knew that that's where it was going to go. At first it was like, oh, we don't like, you know, toxic masculinity and straight people, or we don't like, uh, you know, all the things that they don't like, the radical left that they were talking about had nothing to do with. Now they're attacking gay men, specifically white gay men, 
They don't like people with light skin. Apparently, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just so whack. It's whack as fuck. I can't deal with it. It's rooted in just hatred. It is. It's never good enough. They always just find new ways to to, to hate on you. To bitch. You know, and, and, and then for women, there's there's an assault on on feminism. Uh, sorry, that's not the wrong word. There's an assault on femininity mm -hmm. in this country. They, they oh, say yeah. that if, if a woman embraces her biological gifts, right, then she is not living up to her full potential, that she should be having a career instead and doing it all. And if a woman wants to do that, that's fine. Like if that's what they want, that's great. Good for them. But the reality is women are equipped. Men are not to childbear, to raise children, to give birth. Well, to be, in, Biden, to be a in Biden's America, evidently men can have children, right? In Biden's America, men can get pregnant. Yes. In Biden's that's America. what they're teaching in yeah. biology class now. Yeah. These are scientists that are teaching that. And I'm like, yeah, Yo, you got to get a, you got to get a new degree. That's, uh, that's crazy. Oh hard yeah. Pivot. I read about that. Hard, hard pivot. Let's talk gas prices. I was okay. just going to read the, the Pilates technique was designed by, um, just Pilates specifically for oh, boxers. That's awesome like because boxing is also one of, is one of my main things to do. I, I was, I was, um, at a boxing love camp in, in Boracay for, for about four months practicing there. Boxing is, will shred the fuck out of your body. Yeah. Period. Absolutely. Period. You box, you will shred. I, yeah. I had an I had an ex boyfriend who um he loved boxing and he would take me to classes, and oh my god, I was like, this is fucking amazing because it was like a boxing class, but then it was also like abs too. Mm -hmm. It was like a combination class, and it was like a group thing. We were punching everything. Oh my gosh. And it gets a lot of rage out too. If you're having yeah. rage issues, sometimes I feel like, oh my God, I get so angry. I have I have a temper. Sometimes I get so <laughs> angry. That's the I'm healthy like, way of dealing with it. I, that I is have, it. I huh? have a home boxing bag that I go out on. You do that, right? Mm -hmm. That's the, I mean, the, I, I, there's sometimes I just have to go to the gym for my mental health or I'm going to die or I'm going to kill something or whatever the fuck yeah like, absolutely right yeah, I, go, I, go, I go five six days a week cindy in your comments on facebook says uh honestly i'm glad i don't have anything dangling down there or i would injure it every day as a <laughs> man as a man on the program cindy let me tell you something i hardly injure my balls it doesn't really <laughs> happen as often as you would think yeah yeah it's true right he's got to find ways techniques to like tuck it under some you got to tuck <laughs> in, th in Thailand, they tuck. In Thailand, <laughs> they tuck. <laughs> you gotta have the pull down tuck technique. Yeah, that's uh, what they like, do. Like, sometimes it hurts though. Like yesterday, I did a move on my tummy. It's called like a. It's called swimmer, and you lie on your tummy, and then you lift up your body, so you're kind of like arched like that. But you have to when you do like a move like that, you don't want to put a lot of pressure on your thoracic spine, so you want to lengthen your tailbone, um, and lift up your belly button. Your tummy has to be up when you do shit like that. And then you can't arch your head back. A lot of people arch their head. That's like not necessarily proper technique. Do a neutral neck, like a double chin. And um, anyway, I don't know. What, what am I talking about here? Uh, You're talking just, about doing a specific workout. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. So in order for me, sometimes like I did that yesterday and like, Oh my, like that hurt my, my cock and balls were hurting. So I had to do really, that. Yeah, because I'm lying on my stomach like this. I lie there. My pelvis is like pushing into the ground. So sometimes you gotta readjust. I heard, and we're gonna we're gonna since this is a TNA show. TNA. Apparently, there's, apparently there's an exercise women can do at the gym that gives them an orgasm. Have you guys heard about this? <gasps> no, tell me about it. So if, you guys, <laughs> um, so if you guys if you guys are using that uh, the ab machine where you're kind of elevated, you know what I'm saying? You put you you elevate your body, mm -hmm. and you're and you're in that thing. Mm -hmm. and you pull and you it down your legs and mm -hmm. you can lift your legs up. Apparently, if you hold yourself like that and you contract your abs and you just hold your abs, it could trigger an orgasm for men and women. Oh, well, you're just dangling. Like you this. just said you could do it on it. You could do it on a pull up bar and just hold and contract your abs, or you could do it on one of those things where you're you plant your body and then you hey guys, I'm gonna go to the gym right now. Talk to you later. Peace out. <laughs> yeah. Peace out. Seriously, if you, this, if you Google this, if you Google this, go fact check this. If you Google this, hi guys, what, I'm gonna try this technique. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, orgasm during abs, and there's, I think maybe there's if you just think of something really hot, you can do it. Overall, See, researchers at Indiana University confirmed through a study that women can have orgasms while they exercise, sometimes called a corgasm because it happens in conjunction with core abdominal muscles. Study Ooh, confirms even more reason to go work out. Hey, yeah. you know, I want Seth Hampton on the show next time. Uh, he is like a Pilates 
like master, like I, I trained under him as well. I, this guy's fucking insane with his knowledge. He said overall symmetry is the answer and he's absolutely right. Um, maybe we'll have him on the show one day. We'll just talk like fitness. We'll do like, like a fitness, yep. a pro America fitness moment. Hell yeah. You know, what's crazy though is, 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 is most women who had these orgasms, cause I, I see that there are a lot of women on your channel watching. So this is good advice for you ladies. Most women who have orgasms during ab workouts were not fantasizing sexually or thinking about anyone they were attracted to when the orgasms happen. So what's interesting is that it's just a natural body reaction where you can't control it. Wow. I've never uh, had so. that happen to me at all. A natural anything. <laughs> so, so, so there you Everything go guys. Everything with me is like. So, ladies, if you have a I'd hard make time, make it happen, bitch. I'm gonna make. Wow, yeah, I've never been. I've never had an orgasm by surprise. That's weird. Like, I can't imagine. You have to be a little turned on at the gym. I mean, there's so many hot people there. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, when I was younger, all I had the a pheromones around you. I had a friend who was a virgin, and I remember one day we all went to like this dance club in New York City back in like I don't know the 2000s when dance clubs were were popular. Yeah. And uh, he, I meet up with him later, and he brags to me that he was grinding with the girl at the club and he came <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, yo, you really are a virgin. He's like, yo, it was the most amazing orgasm of my life. He's like, I orgasmed on the dance floor. I was like, yo, first of all, I was jealous. Cause that's, that's pretty so dope. Cute. I was like, but secondly, damn, I don't think I could do that. I don't think I could do that. No, I can't. I'm just too, you know, exposed at this point in my life at this age, at this advanced age. Too exposed. Yeah. yeah like, it's not like I'm not a virgin, so I don't oh. have that sensitivity. You know yeah, yeah, yeah. Tolerance over time. I miss kind of that. Yeah, I miss that. That right? kind of, you, like over. Yeah, that over excitement. I really. Over, I like we've that. been we've been over stimulated throughout our lifetime. I'm look. I'm almost damn near forty. So. Oh, you look you good. Know, thank you. I'm, yeah, I'm going to be turning thirty nine in July. Mm -hmm. so get up there, and if anybody is watching, I am looking for a uh, mother for my children. I don't a have Latina? children, but I want I want a family. You want a Latina? Or what do you want? Um, he wants an Asian. The plan is to move the to the Asian? Philippines. The oh. plan is to move to the Philippines. And, <laughs> and, 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 and a Filipino girl. You like and, a nice Filipino girl? I want a nice Filipino girl in her Aww. in her 20s. In her it's also the cultural Cute. values, though, that the Filipinos have. Of Filipinos from, from the Philippines. Yes, it's the cultural values. I, I just think that, um, you know, American Western values, as much as I love this country, I mean, I, I want to fight for this country, protect Hell yeah. the Constitution. Uh, I do think when it comes to a relationship, uh, I think traditional values are really good to have in a family uh, in terms of, you know, and loyalty, that's something that's faithfulness. being washed away. It's being washed here away here. It's being attacked. Yeah. You know, I mean, they want to attack the new, uh, the, what's it called? The nuclear family. Yeah. They want to create all these type of different relationships. And that's fine. You know, I'm no problem with that. But when I'm looking for a partner, I don't want to have to compete with a career. And what that means is here in America, most women yeah. work or they're sugar babies. It's like, well, no. it's, it's one or the other, right? Yeah. And so what happens in America when women have kids, they're still the primary caretaker. And I'm sure all the women can in the, in the comments can attest to this. They're still the primary caretaker, still expected to keep their husband happy and still expected to make money at their job. It's too much. That's a lot of freaking work. That they is a lot, a lot of work. Men even do more. Many, men need, men need to step up and do more. They or, really do. or hey. we, go back, we go back in time to when we were specialized. Hey, you know, that's what I told my man. My man told me, he's like, I just want a subservient, you know, a little more subservient partner, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, he's like, you know, like a housewife. And I just want you to be a little more like that. He's like, you're aggressive. I'm like, if you want a housewife, pay me. Right. Get, I Nails. <laughs> hair I body <laughs> that's all skin that's pricey shit that's pricey I, whatever I, that is I, or the i'm just saying if you want me to be a little bitch i'm gonna be a little bitch sub bitch fine pay me but the thing I'm is like, he doesn't we're equal partners mm -hmm. and and yep. if you're you know what i'm saying Yep. And so I had to like let him have it. <laughs> that's why you. he likes me but you're too talented though not to do anything I'm going to have a baby one day. I'm going to have a girl. I'm going to have everything. I, You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have a family. Oh, look at that. This is your family. This is my uh, my Little replacement girl. my replacement child right now. This is Cloud, so everybody. Oh, Cloud. Cloud. If you guys want to follow her Instagram, it's Cloud Francisco. Of course, she has her own And she's a two-year-old shih tzu who just loves to play all the time. She's fucking awesome. Yeah, she's a good girl.
But Ricky, going back to what you were saying earlier, that's that's a line I use on on, on boyfriends in the, in the past and everything. It's like you like what you see. Well, there's maintenance involved with this, so uh, yep. you need to take care of my gym membership. Good job. <laughs> my hair getting done, my salon trips. If you like what you see, you have to maintain it. And I, I will be a subservient. This house will be clean, like you never seen it before. Clean, clean, clean. I have no issue being in just an apron in the kitchen. But that's the beauty. That's the beauty of of me going overseas. I mean, we we all see what's happening to this country with inflation, prices going up, skyrocketing. You know, really to survive in America, you have to have two incomes yeah. because things are just so freaking expensive. Yeah. But the beauty is, if I can somehow find a way to make enough money coming out from the U.S., so I get paid in the dollars, but I live in the Philippines, right? There you go. My every dollar I earn is actually worth ten times more in the Philippines in terms of yeah. urban spending power. So. That means that I can focus on my family and instead of having to make $1,000 a week, for example, I only have to focus on making $100 a week and my family can have the same quality of life. Okay. And I've already started doing research. And again, this is this sounds horrible, but it's part of their economy. The cost to have an at-home maid, so someone that lives in your home in the Philippines, yeah. is about yeah. 60 bucks for two weeks. Oh my God. $4 yeah. a day. To have a, a a woman stay in your home, you pay for her food and you pay for her housing, by the way. So she has a roof over her head and she is getting fed. And you pay her 60 bucks every two weeks mm -hmm. to be a state. So my point is, while that is, of course, very little bit of money, you know, I can go there. I can pay them more than the normal rate. So they'll be thrilled to work for me, right? I could pay them $100 every two weeks instead. Yeah. And, and I can, uh, you know, have really good service levels in my house and for my family. And it's not enough to be a multimillionaire. Wow. And that goes with like what the standard of living is for the area. And, and circling back to the points we were making earlier about women yeah. um, uh, working outside the home, it is it's it's become necessary because you have to have here in America, you have to have a dual income household in order to make ends meet before yeah. in the past during the boomers generations, they were able to to survive very comfortably on a single, you know, just the man's income. And then yeah. so it's it's both how the economy is in and in, and. In, livelihood is going around us it, how how many years does a person need to work now in order to own a house like owning mm. a house before used to be the Amer american dream and still is an american dream but right. yeah, i gotta work 20 years before you even pay off that mortgage now it's a pipe dream then. now it's a pipe dream it's, it's not a even a dream, dream. Mm -hmm. you know after this uh episode uh ricky i'm actually going to the park here in florida okay. there's a park in orlando called lake eola and i'm going to be going there with the cardboard sign Okay, and it's going to say on the cardboard sign, if you voted for Joe Biden, you owe me gas money. <laughs> and I'm going to walk around the park and see if anybody, I'm going to film this, by the way, guys, see if any Joe Biden voters are going to give me money because they've put us in this position. I went to the gas pump yesterday here in Florida, and I know California, you're on a whole different level. I pray for you guys because your gas is what? How much is it today? Seven, seven, seven. Bucks almost? Oh it's like God. seven almost. Yeah. yeah. So I, I remember last week I was looking at a, uh, uh, Wawa here in Florida, which is a famous, uh, I guess, grocery gas station chain. And gas yeah. was $3.50 last week. And then yesterday was $4.20. So in one week, we're up 20, 25% in gas prices. I'm I'm oh, scared yeah. to go today to look. So but I sad. think this could be a fun concept to, to beg for money in the park as a broke wow. Trump supporter because of uh, the, these gas prices. You know what the, the top apps are? On um, the app store, I looked at this because I was trying to add an app yesterday. The top apps are um, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, and then there's an app on there that is for gas. <laughs> what? Okay. Find cheap gas. Gas. It's called Gas Buddy. Find and pay for gas. Wow. People mm -hmm. are trying to find cheap fuel prices and rewards. That's the, the fifth most highest app, um, most popular app on the yep. app store right now because gas is going to be a huge commodity yep. because you you insane people voted for a um, dotard. Who doesn't care about us? Look, let me just say this. Uh, Joe Biden announced today. <laughs> I didn't say that. Take that back. Take that back. Take it back. Censor it. I didn't say it. <laughs> Joe Biden I met, is I met a beautiful human being, <laughs> <laughs> especially after that State of the Union address, where his approval ratings went from low to slightly higher yeah, than low. <laughs> exactly. So Joe Biden announced today he's cutting off energy imports from Russia. So we're no longer going to be supporting uh, 
Russian energy. And today, Joe Biden said this is going to affect the American gas prices. Mm -hmm. And now he's calling it Putin's tax hike. So he's blaming Putin for the increase in oil prices as if these oil prices were not already going up all of 2021 right. mm -hmm. and right. all of 2022. So it's just funny to me that they're going to say an excuse now the gas him. prices are because of the Russia-Ukraine war. Okay, did people know about that a year ago when it was starting to go up and you didn't do anything about it? So oh, wait, my my explanation of Biden is right on. Actually, I just looked up in the dictionary what dotard is. It means an old person, especially one who has become physically weak or whose mental faculties have declined. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Dotard. I'm I'm very good at words. I have the best words. Who said that? Well, because you're a uh, you're, I have you're the a best so you you better have some uh, some <laughs> decent words out there, <laughs> right? No, Trump said that I have the best words. Oh yeah, <laughs> I think we all miss him. Yeah. Oh He'll my God, you guys are awesome. I love having you on the show. Um, thank you so much for uh, joining me, and I uh, I'm looking forward to the next time. Absolutely. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully every week I'll make you guys co-stars. Yeah, we love we love talking with you, and hopefully we get to see you in person I mean, again soon. You know, we want to do something with you and have you maybe come to our studio here in in Florida. I love that. I love coast that. To coast. Let's get let's get Ricky into Florida. I mean, I have such a blast every time I go to Miami and Florida. It's so much fun. Yeah, Miami's a whole different a uh, whole different level. That's an animal. Is it close to where you guys are relatively? It's about four hours. I went to school in Miami. Okay. So I was I was always driving up um, I ninety five back and forth between Orlando and Miami about four hours. Yeah, we're in Atlanta right now, central of Florida, so we can really get to anywhere within four hours nice. uh, across the country, which is pretty cool, yeah. Um, oh, but yeah. also, I want to thank you guys for watching us. If you want to find Tara, you can find her at the Polish American Brotherhood. She's either Polish American Brotherhood or Poam Brotherhood on every channel you can imagine. Uh, I'm biggest on TikTok and Rumble. I like Rumble because I can say whatever the hell I want there and not worry about censorship, so... Oh, Rumble, Rumble, Adam Francisco. You could go to TikTok, type in Adam Francisco. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty big on TikTok now. I'm pretty big. 30,000. They already took my channel down once. And uh, of course, here on YouTube. So, Ricky, we, we love being with you and, and talking to you, the sexy boy. And thank we, you. Uh, love You're sexy too. Ah! Thank Salute you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> so that's much. right. It's the TNA show. That's Ooh, why wow. I'm like, I'm like excited. I'm excited for you guys to, um, collab and come into the studio too eventually be fun we'll get you in there i'll get you on that mic hell yeah we will kill it kill it so with uh, that's why i want to play a song for you because um i think i wrote it for both of you this song is probably meant for both of you and it's called boys and sometimes girls <laughs> i love it all right so i'm going to play you this song and i dedicate it to the tna show today Anyway, yeah. you guys, thank you so much for supporting the live broadcast today by just coming and clicking and sharing this live broadcast. But also, if you want to get the products, go to C60. If you want to get C60 Evo, here it is. It's on my website, rickyrebelrocks.com. Go ahead and support the live broadcast by buying C60 and or maybe my CDs or, or merch. And uh, I'm going to end this right now with uh, my track, Boys and Sometimes Girls, Billboard Top 40 song. Dedicating it to you guys on the TNA show. All right. Have a good day. Ah, I'll see you next week. Tuesdays with Rebel. Oh, Victoria. Ayo, hey, DJ. Sometimes girls. And sometimes girls, they can be kind of hot. I like the way they work the pole. They get the hits of spot. I know it's kind of kinky. I know it's weird. But I'm the kind of gay guy that likes girls to touch my rear.
And sometimes girls. I can't stop till I get to the top. I know it's wrong and I know I'm a freak. And hey guys, hey guys, don't understand me. Some girls, they just want to fuck me. It's such, it's such a freaky problem that I thought I've always liked it both ways. And maybe that's why I'm unique. You want to get with me, you better know I like it all. I want the boys, 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 boys. And sometimes girls. If you want to get with me, you got to give me the world. Sometimes girls. 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 You wanna make out with girls? Boys, 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 boys. Like you and your boyfriend? Girls. 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 Okay, I'm down. Boys, 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 boys. A little closer. Boys, girls, boys, girls, boys, 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 boys. And sometimes girls. Hey, that's a good song. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Look at his hair. All of a sudden, I came out. I came out. I was like dancing around. All right, all right. Everybody, thanks for coming. I'll see you next week. You guys ready? Can you guys come next week? 12 p.m.? Yeah. All right, great. I'll see you then. See you Bye. guys. Peace.